Some big news that's coming in right now as far as the terror attack in Jammu and Kashmir is concerned. One more soldier has succumbed to injury. In fact, earlier two Jawans and two porters had been killed. This is the third terror attack in just the last five days. In fact, we are talking about the Gulmarg terror attack. That toll now rises to five. Army vehicle was attacked yesterday. Three soldiers were killed in action. And amid all this, the valley remains under tension. My colleague Yavar joins us from the valley on the broadcast to get us more details on this. Yavar, one more soldier succumbs to injury. Give us more details about uh, what exactly was the reason for this attack. Have the perpetrators been identified? Uh, well, the death toll mounts to five after a soldier lost his life and uh, he was earlier injured uh, in the militant attack in the Batapatri, that's in the Gulma, and later on succumbed uh, in the hospital. We have been given the understanding by the sources that uh, the death toll mounts to the five now. Uh, three uh, soldiers killed in action, uh, two civilian porters uh, lost their lives also. Uh, two uh, soldiers, including one, um, you know, porter, uh, they are availing the medical facilities at the army base hospital in the Srinagar and the area has been, you know, called into a boy the joint forces. In fact, the aerial surveillances have been put in place and uh, the, uh, you know, special forces have been uh, taken into the consideration uh, to get this operation done. Uh, now, this is a joint operation being conducted by the Army as well as uh, the JNK police uh, uh, in the area, although the, uh, you know, paramilitary has been kept in the fray. And uh, this is uh, the Gulmarg, uh, that's the health resort, uh, just uh, kilometers away where this incident has unfolded. Uh, but the security forces, they have ensured that there will be no inconvenience uh, causing to the tourists. Uh, the tourists moment is going on smoothly, uh, though the gondola service has been, you know, restricted and temporarily suspended due to the security reasons, uh, yet the security forces, uh, they have tightened the cordon along the line of control uh, in the Botapatri area. Pertinent to mention here is that the valley which has witnessed uh, the two region Kamas, that's the Gandharbal as well as the Gulmarg, is witnessing the twin attacks, uh, rather raising a concern to the security agencies and the intelligence agencies as well. Uh, now, the intelligence report have also suggested that uh, the militants had are trying to, uh, you know, locate at that place uh, which has seen least a number of uh, security activities. Uh, that's why uh, we are witnessing that uh, the Gandharbal, which has been comparatively witnessing uh, no such militant act activities in the recent past, uh, has uh, witnessed uh, the major terror attack, so as in the Gulmarg. Uh, talking about the operation that's been rattled up, uh, the security forces have encircled this entire area. Now, pertinent to mention here is that yesterday, uh, there was a unified command meet that was chaired by the Lieutenant Governor the top intelligence and the security officials joined that meeting. In fact, the directions were passed to crush down the OGW networks, terror modules, and those perpetrators who are behind the attack of the Gandharbal, so as who are trying to disrupt the peace in the Kashmir Valley. So as to speak, if we talk about this attack, uh, the PAFF, that's the proxy of the Jashi Muhammad, has claimed the responsibility of this attack through an unverified social media handles, and it's likely that there could be the foreign militants who are involved in this heinous crime, because in the both side of the car uh, were attacked. Uh, that's what the sources are saying, that the army vehicle which came under a heavy attack, ambush laid by the militants, they were fired upon from the two sides. Uh, so it can be two to three militants who are involved in this particular case. Now the security force has taken up this investigation and also the search operation has been intensified in the nearby place. So back to you. Right, uh, Yavar, appreciate you joining us on the broadcast, getting us all the details about what's happening in the valley. Of course, uh, tensions prevail amid this attack and of course, uh, the death toll has now continued to mount. We'll keep coming back to you for more details on this. Let's now, viewers, uh, shift our focus.